one. You, know, you guys asked for it. So here I'm going to um, show you. This is the uh, kit I recommend. Because there's another kit that doesn't have this one. And this one's good for uh, slippers and socks and mittens and stuff like that. But it comes with the 24 peg, the 30 peg, the 36 peg, and the 40 peg. The 40 peg's good for um, slouchy hats. This one's good for, the orange one's good for um, adult hats. And then you get like teenager or preteen. And these are good for um, babies. And then I bought this one separately. And um, that's what I used to make the snowman and um, like little booties for uh, Lily when she was first born. But, um, yeah, we got those. And this is a Martha Stewart one. It's got different size pegs and they're um, adjustable. There it is. You can put it together any way you want. And the smaller ones are easy for this fine, there it is, this very fine yarn. And then we got this one, which is for afghans and throw blankets. You can do the, um, a figure eight stitch on this and it makes a beautiful throw blanket. But, yeah, um... So we're going to use this one today and we're going to start a Santa hat. So let me get it set up and I'll show you guys how to start the Santa hat. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, are you recording? Yep. Okay, first we do a slip knot. We twist that there. You start with a slip knot. You want to bring it over. Oh, and you want two two um, strands of yarn. Otherwise, it turns out like a hair knot. And the instructions say to use it. Okay, use two. I mean, you start like this. Then you reach in, bring it through, and it didn't work. There we go. And then you stick the loop onto there. And then you always go behind and around. And since it we're casting on, you go around twice. And then bring up the first one. around twice for each one of them you can go around all the way once and then go back and do it and round again second time that's how I do it I guess can you see what I'm doing Name bowls they want twenty five dollars for.
Okay, I'll finish doing the casting on and I'll come back when I'm ready for the next row. See you in a minute. Okay, we cast it on uh, uh, all the way around. There's the uh, gap. And if you were doing a flat panel, you would just start going back the other way. But since we're doing a hat, we're going all the way around. So we just come behind it, wrap it around, and then take the bottom loop off. This one we're going to do 12 rows and then I'll show you how to make the brim of the hat. So I'll be back in a minute. Okay. Now we got our 12 rows done. And yes, I did count the cast down roll. So now we have to make the brim of the hat. So you go back to your your first stitch that's going to have this little tail on it. Keeps curling up on it. You take the first stitch and you put it back on there. And you're going to do that all the way around. talk about this while I'm doing this. I was looking for um, the um, knitting and uh, crocheting bowls where you stick your ball of yarn into the ball, I mean the bowl, and that way you won't have to chase your um, roll of uh, yarn up across the room and um, I just stuck it in this uh, plastic bag and it works. It's like you don't need to spend $25 for one bowl and since I use two bowls that would be $50. When you're done with it you just stick your little tool in there and zip it up. Okay, now you got <clears throat> you got all that on there. So you got the two rows again. I'm trying to get this tail out because oh, that's part of the working yarn. Okay, you take go back to where your tail is that you started with, and then you just poke it in between those two lines. I made an extra long tail. And their tail. Now you're gonna make finish the brim of the hat. Not all hats have brims. But then you just knit it off.
you got all done, you push all the yarn back down. ready to start on the red part. Okay, so we tied the knot on here and we start with the red just like you did before. Take the white over the red. So you're just going the white over the red. And you do it all the way around until you get 12 rows. And I'll see you back when I get those 12 rows done so you don't have to sit there and watch me. Okay, see you in a minute. Hey guys, sorry I said um, that it was only 12 rows, but it was 20 rows. So after 20 rows of the red, it's hard to see it all because I got it so close to me. After that, you want to take your yarn and wrap it around the loom two and a half times of course I forgot to get my scissors out <clears throat> okay you wrap up the working yarn around two and a half times and then you cut it set this over here for a second it sure didn't come out even did it That's even. Okay. What I do to uh, um, thread the needle, I get in an old appointment card and I cut off enough so I can slide it through the eye. See, I got it like this. Little flappy ends here. Then you take the needle. slide that in there and voila you got your needle there sorry about bumping it 
Okay. This is the beginning. Right here. And I always go to the next one over. And slide it through. At this point, you could take this one, the one you already went through, you can take it off. Or you can just go all the way around. You just stitch through every peg all the way around. Okay, I'll, I'll finish up the rest till I get to the next step, and I'll see you in a minute. Okay, we sewed it all the way around, or stitched it, and just taking it completely off the pegs. There's the last one. Oop, try not to drop it. <clears throat> okay, so now we got all the pegs off. Want to take the yarn and start pulling it like so. Try to get it to curl under instead of out. Rethread our needle. I was afraid that I was going to lose my needle when you only got one needle left. And this was my mom's needle. Poke the needle through the hole, pull it out, and you're going to turn the hat inside out. Take part of it, pull it until you only have a little loop. I don't know what that's from. I go around the needle twice. And do it one more time for good measure. <clears throat> there you go. 
go. Okay, turn the hat back around. And we got this tail to work with. Cut off the longer part. <clears throat> now you take a crochet hook. bring that right through and voila it's gone if you want to you could keep crocheting it into the colors like the white with the red and that okay we got the hat part done <coughs> yeah. we're gonna Do the um this is the pom pom maker, it's the extra large. And what you do is you gotta open these up both sides. Okay, um, I'm going to wrap half of this, and then, um, come back and show you how to wrap the other half. So you won't have to be sitting there watching me that long. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, I got the first half of it done. Um, I didn't want you to have to sit there through all that, but this is the second half, and you see how they go straight across here? That's because you want to take the yarn through there, and you're going to have to start wrapping it here. And the thing is, you don't want any of the yarn on these edges. And I'm going to show you how the thing keeps getting in the way. But you have to keep pushing it back, but still keeping it even. See yeah, how tight that is getting. That's what you want it to do. And since this thing keeps going in my way, so I made like one pass up, one pass back down, and then one pass up again, and one pass back down again. So you want to do do that on the same side. Um, you can do a lot more rows of it. It depends on how much you know will fit in here and how how fluffy you want it. So okay, I'll finish wrapping this one and I'll get right back to you guys. Okay, I've got both sides done. Now we're gonna cut it. Hopefully I'll get it make get it to come out right. We haven't done this before, so wish me luck on this. Okay. 
you would kind of think that they would uh, have you tie it first before you cut it, but that's not the case. There, and go to the other side. Now you're supposed to um, tie it. Can you see it? Get really tight. Is it going to fall over the place? One side. Other side. And of course it's not tight. Oh, I forgot to take it apart. not really that tight that I would want it to be but you guys under get what I'm trying to say is how to make it it's pretty nice pom pom though but we'll see you in the next video um, have a great day <laughs>